Flowers adorn the permanent likeness of Lurleen Wallace in the rotunda of the state capitol. She served only 14 months, beginning in 1967, as her husband and previous governor, George Wallace, ran an unsuccessful campaign for the presidency of the United States. Like her husband, she was a segregationist, but she's also remembered for her efforts to reform mental health care and beautify the state of Alabama. Jack Thomas treasures an original campaign sticker and memories of Mrs. Wallace before cancer took her life. She had such an incredible presence about her and I just adored her and when she got sick I was so heartbroken. Her death at 41 brought an outpouring of grief. Pain felt especially hard by daughter Peggy, just a teenager at the time. She was um, a sweet woman. She was full of life. I know that she died with dignity and with courage, and that's great too, but we're talking about a woman who loved to live. The portrait of Lurleen Wallace hangs next to her husband's in the state capitol. The very dress from that portrait, along with lots of the history from Lurleen Wallace's short life, can be found here at the Alabama Department of Archives and History. You just need to make an appointment to see some of these artifacts. A half century later, memories of a life lived at a far different time in Alabama history. In Montgomery, Jeff Eliasoff, 